Hello coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content we put out. At this point, we've got success coaches in our company that are putting out content on a daily basis. So make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest content that we put out and so you don't get stuck with your training business. So today I want to share with you how to add more value in your soccer training business. Right, so if more specifically you're doing one-to-one -one private training, then this video will really help you to break down how you can charge more for your private one-to-one -one training training service. Okay, so something we get asked on a regular basis in our company, we get emails, we get questions every day every week about how can i charge more for my services what do i need to implement to add more value so these are a few a couple of things and what i want to share with you are three ways that you can add more value to your program and when you add more value you can charge more for your private one-to-one -one training so the first way to charge more is simply you've got to add more value okay now a lot of coaches when they start private one-to-one -one training all they do is they simply focus on the training okay now that is great because ultimately clients are coming to you because they want to improve their skills they want to improve their, their technical uh, ability they want to improve their confidence and all of those things are obviously improved with the training okay so training is highly important so if you can provide a high quality training session for your clients then that is one way of adding value now another way of adding value which goes away from the training field and this is more what can we do away from the field when your clients aren't with you is you can set them daily or weekly accountability homework so this might be two or three times per week they've got to do homework which is skill specific to you what you guys have been doing that week and what i did with my clients when when i started one-to-one -one training is i sent out a google spreadsheet to my clients with Monday to Friday and what that did is that they had a day-to-day -day schedule which contained the homework right so Monday they had to work on this Tuesday they had to work on this Wednesday they had to work on this Thursday they rested Friday they had to work on this okay so every single day I gave them a homework task to do and what they had to do is they had to record themselves doing that homework and then once they've completed that homework they had to send a video to me for a private group so I can then see right they have been working on their homework and that is one way of adding value because ultimately you're not with them at all all you're doing is you're setting them homework and you're making them accountable for their learning. And when they start to do that, not only do they improve by themselves, but also it gives them something to do when they have free time. Okay, Because a lot of kids, what they do is they're, they're very structured throughout the day. They wake up, they have breakfast, they get dressed, they go to school, come home, they'll do their homework. And then they've got a lot of free time after they've completed their homework and they're not doing anything. So if you add more value and you set them a, a homework task that they, you know, it's it could be 20 to 30 minutes of ball mastery work, that helps them to stay accountable for their learning. So that when they come to you, come to your session, you know, they're, they're improved from the, from the previous week, right? They're up to speed on their footwork. They, they look more confident to you, okay? And they're ultimately up to a, a better level than they were the previous week, okay? 
So that's one way of charging more because when you add more value, so when you provide them with homework every single week, you can charge more for your services. Okay, because your the homework becomes part of the program and, and it becomes part of a, an entire package which comes together that the parent pays for. Okay, because ultimately it does take a lot of time away from the field to set up the homework, right? To think of a uh, training training ideas that they can do by themselves, to set up this the spreadsheet and all those things. And once that's in place that can just be naturally part of the one-to-one -one training program. Now, there's a hundred other ways that you can implement a value to one-to-one -one training. And if this is something you need more help with, then get in contact with me. There's two ways to do that. The first one in my Calendly link in the description, you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. And I'll be more than happy to, to jump on a Zoom call Talk about your business and show you a couple of ways that you can add more value so you can charge more for your one-to-one -one service, right? Or if you just want to send me a, an email, you can do that as well to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Send it my way and I make it a mission every single day to answer coaches, coaches' questions. So I will get back to you within 24 hours. Right, so that's one way of charging more for your private one-to-one -one, is adding more value. Second one is getting results, right? Getting results with the clients you work with. Okay, so I remember when I started my business, I was working with one one client I started with, and I was working with that one client for 90 days, right? So three months they were committed to me and we, I stayed really accountable to not only my coaching, but I made sure that the client as well stayed really accountable to their learning. And what started to happen is when I started to go and watch their games, okay, that player became an out, outstanding player, right? They, they outperformed their teammates. They became a very key player in, in the team that they were playing for. And parents started to see, wow, like the training that my son is doing with Leo is really working. Right? My son looks more confident. He looks like a better player. His first touch is better. He's now shooting. He's now dribbling. He's now taking on players. He's getting into space. He's receiving. Uh, his, his first touch to receive the ball is a lot better. Right? All these things started to happen. And parents started to see, wow, do you know what? This program works. This coaching works. Okay, because ultimately what you're doing is you're selling your co your coaching. And you've got to make sure that your coaching gets results. Okay, because that's what parents want. They want results. They want to see their child getting better. If they're spending a lot of money with you and their son isn't getting better, they're not getting results, then ultimately they're not going to come back. And they'll just go and find someone else to train with. Okay. So getting results is key because once you start to get results, then you can start to implement or create a referral program where once a month you're reaching out to your current clients that you're getting great results with. You're sharing those results with them. You're talking about the progress they're making and you're ultimately uh, talking about a referral program that you have in place that if they refer any like-minded parents to the company and they register, then they get a discount of the next month's training or they might get a free month's worth of training. Okay, Depending on the loyalty of the client, depending how long they've been with you, right? depending on how much they've invested with you, me personally, I like to offer the client a free month because that shows that I'm committed to them long-term. Some coaches prefer maybe 50% off, maybe 25% off, okay, it really depends. But ultimately, you want to get results with your clients so that when you get results, you can create a referral program and those parents can start talking about your program to other parents. And hopefully that leads to more uh, prospects, leads to more clients joining. And then the more results your program starts to get, the more your company starts to grow.
okay because it this the the industry we're in it's a results driven business okay if you get results you get more clients that is that is ultimately the aim of the game here okay you want to bring in new clients get fantastic results over maybe a short period of time three six twelve months get great results and then have parents talk about what you do so then they can bring in more parents to you and your company and program starts to grow the third way okay and also going back to that once you start to get lots of results and parents start to refer right you can start to charge more for your service okay so ultimately that's the that's the way to charge more for for your for your one-to-one -one training results 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 right if You've got one client at the moment. You've got great results. They refer another client. Now you've got two. Second client, you can charge a little bit extra because, right, that client's coming to you because of the fantastic results the, your business uh, gets with the clients they work with. And that second client might refer, refer a third and so on. You start to charge a little bit more and you start to add more value. Okay. Now, again, if you need more help, reach out to me. I'll be able to show you a diff 100 different ways that you can get results with clients so you can charge more for your service. Okay. Now, the third one is if you're adding value, if you're getting results with clients, now you've got to promote and market what you do. Okay. There's no point getting great results with clients and you're not promoting and marketing your business because ultimately no one's going to know about you no one's going to know what you do okay so something we teach coaches to do with for example their social media accounts is to pro is, is to provide evidence of progression with clients okay so post success stories of the clients that you're currently working with so little Johnny, he joined you three months ago. This is where he was at. This is where he was at then in month one. This is where he grew to month two. And this is where he currently is at month month three. This is what we've been working on. This is how he's developed. This is how he's improved. And this is how our coaching gets players to the next level. And when your social media account is just filled with client success stories, then it's easier for any prospects or any parents that are viewing your content to realize, you know what, this company gets results with players. They've got this parent uh, talking about the program. They've got this player that is improving. He's gone on to play at the next level. And ultimately what you want is you want your parent that is viewing your content to think, wow, do you know what? I want to work with Leo because if I if my son works with Leo, he's going to get to the next level. Okay, so you want to promote, promote, promote. That is the that is the key. Promote, promote, promote what you do. Promote your results. Promote your success stories, and also get testimonials from the clients you currently work with. Okay, get it. This could be a handwritten testimonial. This could be a video testimonial. Okay. Just a testimonial that shows a viewer that your business gets results with clients. Okay, And when you promote a market that, parents will believe it more Okay, and you will build credibility with the viewer or whoever's consuming your content. Okay, Because parents see a lot of content every single day right parents are on facebook they're on instagram they're on twitter so they're consuming a lot so they know what's real and what's fake okay it's very easy it's very evident now when you have parents who are talking about the program they're naming you in the video they're sh they're talking about their child it's more believable it's more credible okay but we've got to promote and market that Okay, so when we talk to parents out on the street about what we do or out on the fields about what we do, then we can say, right, little Johnny, this is where he was at. This is where he got to with three months of being in our one-to-one -one training. 
Okay, so we want to promote, promote, promote what we do so we can show our audience the great results we're getting. And when you show parents the results, okay, ultimately you're going to have more parents apply for your program and your clientele will grow. So if you need more help with this, please get in contact with me. I can, I can sit down with you over a 15 to 20 minute Zoom call to discuss different ways that you can add value to charge more for your private one-to-one -one training. Okay, so there's two ways to do that in the link in the description. There'll be a Calendly link. Just click on it, book a call with me, right? I am flexible during the week to sit down with coaches. This is what I do every single day. I get on Zoom calls. I talk with coaches. I share strategies with them. I ask them questions. I see where they are with their business. And I ultimately provide them with value that they can then take away, implement in their business and hopefully grow. And then further down the line, maybe become clients and work with our company. Now, the second way, if you don't want to do that, then you can just send me a direct uh, email with any questions that you might have to my email address, which is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? Again, before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with all the content we put out, and I'll see you on the next video.